بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد um, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته thank you very much um, uh, شيخ سيف الدين it was just very beautiful um, well I don't think after your presentation I don't know shall I just present myself about myself because you left nothing for me you have presented everything comprehensively maybe just a couple of tips um, um, just uh, something maybe just small details from here from there or else everything is just perfectly presented by yourself thank you very much for that anyway um, obviously as you know um, you know in um, uh, political Islam obviously it did uh, decide the divisions okay so in our time uh, when people th uh, uh, think about Islam so the main two you can say um, um, uh, movements or groups in Islam is Shia and Sunnah. But majority of the people, they do not assume that within Sunnah and Shia, there are so many schools of thought and so many opinions. Some of them are political and some of them are pure academical. Okay, so anyway, um, so it's um, uh, just mixture of everything. Okay, so that's the first point. The second second point is, um, uh, with regards to Ahl Snow al um, uh, there are... Uh, uh, many, uh, many issues related to the issue of Khilafah, okay? So, for example, the first thing that you have mentioned, um, uh, as far uh, as I know, uh, our um, uh, Jafari Mashayikh, as well as, um, yeah, Jafari Mashayikh only, I think, because Zaydis, Okay, so anyway, uh, there, there is a disagreement between the Zaydis because uh, they're early Mashayikh because they took from Hanafi scholars, so they are not very so. Anyway, our Jafari Mashayikh, they do believe that um, uh, Rasulullah wasalam, explicitly has confirmed, okay, and then he left uh, the Khilafah behind him by confirming, okay, with whom it will be going. Uh, I think this is the key point in which uh, Ahl Sunnah and Shia uh, uh, schools, they maybe disagree. Okay, so is the Khilafah was um, explicitly confirmed by Rasulullah and left uh, by specifying certain individuals or not? Okay, so um, um, our Jafari Mashayikh say, yes, it was actually confirmed, but uh, the Sunni Mashayikh say, no, actually no. Rasulullah wasalam, died without specifying anyone. So that's why there was a disagreement be between the Sahaba um, uh, to appoint someone after Rasulullah wasalam, Okay, so obviously, I think the main point of disagreement is that one, okay? But because, you know, um, it's, uh, it's the same as, it's the same as, um, uh, for example, just small, like a, 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 a uh, empirical experiment. Okay, so laser, do you know this light of laser? Okay, so two very close to one another. If you just slightly, if you slightly just um, um, make its direction just far away from, just slightly, for example, that much. So in the beginning point, it's very close to one another. You know, but if you look further, okay, so after one mile, it will be just far away. So I think that is one of the most important things. Was Khilafah appointed by Rasul, specified and predicted by Rasul, or, or it was not? So just disagreement on this one issue, further application, it will just make us far away. Maybe I think that is one of the main things, okay? Obviously, I do follow the early Hanafi school, and I do have my own, my own uh, position, which um, may not be very consistent with uh, Jafari. Uh, Mashaikh, and it may not be very consistent with Athari Hanbali, which is the dominating within Ahl Sunnah. So it may not be consistent with you. <laughs> sorry, Sheikh, if I could just ask, because your time is going to run out very quickly, I'm sorry. If I could ask you to just focus on the issue of, um, you know, summarizing your, your paper on the issue of, of, of this abdication of Imam al, Imam al Hassan okay. and, and okay. Muawiyah, please. Yeah, okay, 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 that's fine. But because we're coming to that, isn't that? We're coming. So, so anyway, um, so because uh, uh, Imam Hassan, uh, anhu, was he appointed by Rasulullah wasalam, as Khalif or not? Because uh, all of the, you can say, um, uh, all of the uh, issues which uh, Sheikh Sefuddin has mentioned will be applicable only after uh, uh, accepting the fact that Rasulullah did appoint Imam Hassan as Khalifa after him, after he, after Imam Ali Radhi, isn't it? 
Okay, so I think that is one of the main things. Okay, so um, our Jafar in Mashaikh believe that uh, Imam Hassan was actually appointed by Rasulullah, but Ahl Sunnah, the Mashaikh of Ahl Sunnah, they do not believe in it. Okay, so that is the first point. And then if the Khilafah was not appointed, specified by Rasulullah, so then how it supposed to be uh, appointed? Okay, how it should be selected? So Ahl Sunnah, they gave several ways of valid valid, we can say, ways of um, choosing the, the, the Khilafah or Khalifa, okay? Um, so, um, but anyway, coming back uh, to uh, Imam Hassan, yeah, so as Sheikh Saifuddin has very clearly mentioned, uh, there was quite a lot of um, reasons for Imam Hassan, okay, to um, resign from his uh, authentic uh, position as Khalifa. I don't believe that there is any disagreement among uh, Ahl Sunnah and Shia uh, with regards to who was the real Khalifa. Okay, so we say uh, straight after Imam Ali, it was Imam Hassan radiallahu anhu. So, and also, but what about Muawiyah? We, um, uh, a majority of our scholars, out of respect, they do not mention it, but some of the Mashayikh, when they mention um, uh, the, uh, do you know the hadith which is mentioned actually by Bukhari with regards to the rebellions okay, so in that they do classify clearly that the uh, army of um, uh, Sham and its leader they were rebellions okay, so the status of rebellion it did continue even during the time of Imam Hassan because Imam Hassan, Imam Hassan was valid Khalifa after um, uh, uh, Ali radiallahu anhu and actually we do have authentic hadith some of the Mashaikh mentioned that it is weak. However, narrated by Abu Dawood, okay, and um, uh, Imam Ahmad and few other uh, in authentic sources that the um, Khilafah, okay, uh, Khilafah Rashida after Rasulullah wasalam, it will be 30 years. Okay, so then after calculating, uh, the scholars have confirmed that these 30 years will be only if we include these six or seven months of Imam Hassan. So there is no disagreement between Ahl Sunnah and Shia and that Imam Hassan was the genuine, authentic Khalifa. Okay, so anyway, um, but his resignation, that is the actual point. Was that uh, legit or not? So because the initial disagreement between Ahl Sunnah and Shia is, was Imam Hassan appointed through divine way or not? Okay, so uh, Ahl Sunnah say no. So that's why Ahl Sunnah, they do not have a problem with resignation. Okay, as for example, Sheikh Saifuddin was trying to justify Okay, um, uh, because if Imam Hassan was appointed by God, okay, through Rasulullah wasalam, so then he had no right to resign. Okay, so that issue we do not have as Ahl Sunnah, we do not have that. Okay, because his appointment as Khalifa was not by divine selection or by confirmation uh, from uh, Rasulullah but by um, the, uh, um, the uh, you know, the Muslims, okay, so the authorities of the Muslims, uh, choosing him after the death of uh, Imam Ali. Okay, so that's why uh, Ahl Sunnah Jama'a, we do not have any problem with resignation of um, uh, Imam uh, Hassan ibn Ali, radiallahu anhuma. Okay, but anyway, if we just look into the um, uh, historical events, I personally do not really trust historical um, um, uh, historical um, stories or information 100%, because history for me is just like a... Um, uh, most of it is just unauthentic. Some could be authentic. Okay. However, um, as um, Sheikh Saifuddin has very clearly mentioned, and I do support that position, he has been really badly betrayed. Imam Hassan was very bad, badly betrayed by his own soldiers, okay, and by the heads of these soldiers. For example, Abdullah ibn Abbas, according to the historical um, uh, sources, even Ibn al-Athir, as far as I remember, mentions Ibn Kathir. They do mention that um, uh, um, when they went, okay, Abdullah ibn Abbas, okay, and uh, there is no clear um, proof with regards to who was the Amir of that uh, of that uh, group. Was it Qais ibn Sa'ad or was it Abdullah ibn Abbas? Okay, so regardless. But um, in my own understanding, if it would be Qais ibn Sa'ad, definitely that battle would continue. Okay. So Allah alam, whatever happened in that uh, during that thing, and because Ubaidullah uh, ibn Abbas took with him big number, about three thousand or four thousand of the soldiers, 
And then uh, obviously Muawiyah, he was a very smart person, you know, and he is politician, 100% politician. So he knows how to uh, do the things. So then he started um, uh, sending a message uh, saying that um, uh, the uh, peace treatment was agreed and uh, Imam Hassan already has already resigned or agreed to resign. But the agreement was not yet reached, you know. Okay, so it was before, days before that thing. But anyway, so that was, you can say, um, some type of strategy from Huawei. And he, it was successful, actually. Again, it was successful. And then, um, uh, and after that, um, um, that um, uh, the statement, the khutbah of um, Imam Hassan also did cause further uh, confusion okay, among the people. Because as we know, the laymen, soldiers, they are not scholars, okay? So, uh, uh, so Imam Hassan made a statement in which uh, it's exactly the same uh, khutbah uh, mentioned by uh, Ibn Afir, actually, uh, in which he said that uh, we are not willing to go for it, but we, was referring to himself, we can see the people, um, uh, um, uh, we can see the people betraying. Okay, and the treason can be seen also. Before we could see the people um, um, preferring, preferring to go for the Akhira, choosing the reward of the Akhira, but now I can see that people are choosing the reward of the life, of the dunya. So that's why um, if you, or crowd people, uh, if you are willing to accept what Muawe is offering, so we will go for it. But if, um, uh, if you do not accept it, so then we will continue with the battle. Okay, so then uh, actually uh, people started sh shouting. Obviously, I, I, in my own understanding, it was um, all the time in the crowd, there will be some uh, strange people. Okay, so definitely, I do believe that those type of people started calling for the peace. Peace means uh, uh, Imam Hassan resigning. So there was very big uh, betrayal from the uh, side of the soldiers of uh, uh, Imam Hassan. So that's why Imam Hassan was forced. Okay, Imam Hassan was forced to um, uh, sign. Okay, and um, and after that, uh, some certain agreement was uh, um, uh, performed, reached between Imam Hassan and Muawiyah. However, all of that is based on the historical sources. And again, as I said, I do not really trust that hundred percent. Okay, so. But from the uh, theological uh, theological point of view, um, uh, the the Ahl Sunnah they do accept the appointment of the Khilafa through many ways. I'm going to mention some of them, and not uh, and they do not believe that the Khilafa has to be um, confirmed by Rasulullah or through some certain divine sources. So Ahl Sunnah do not believe in it. Okay. So anyway, so what are the valid ways for the Khalifa to become valid? Okay. So first is Ahl Shura appointing someone, the first thing. And the second thing is, um, uh, actually the Khilafah could be by Taghallub also. Taghallub, we Ahl Sunnah do not believe in the rebellion. We say rebelling against the uh, official government is not permissible, if the, uh, even if the governor is oppressive. Okay, but what about, hypothetically speaking, um, a rebellion happens and the rebels will take over. Okay, so in that case, say, if the, the, the rebels will take over, they will become the official governor. Okay, so that is the, that is the second way. And also, uh, they, do, um, they do say that um, it could be inherited also, okay, from the father to, to the son, if people will give their alliance. So if they will give their bay'ah, to the sun, so that is also um, classed as one of one of the ways of becoming valid uh, uh, governor. Okay, so uh, from here we can see that the, uh, within the Ahl Sunnah uh, Wal Jamaa, um, the, the, uh, the, there are quite few ways of becoming valid uh, official Khalifa. So it may start off as um, uh, sin, for example, rebellion, but then after becoming, after taking over, so he may become. That, that person may become a uh, caliph actually. Okay, so, uh, so, so that is the, the main thing. And um, so, so that's why um, the uh, issues with uh, which uh, Sheikh Zayfuddin was trying to tackle with regards to um, uh, was Imam Hassan 
betraying his duty or etc. So Ahlus Sunnah do not believe in that. So uh, they do not say that Imam Hassan did uh, betray. And obviously, Sheikh Saifuddin did not say that he did betray, but he did mention that um, it is justified. So also from our side, his resignation um, was valid, okay, um, because he has been betrayed. And even when he came back okay, to Medina, in that he did mention, he did mention that Ahl Kufa, they are not reliable at all. Okay, so um, um, anyway, so, so most of um, what I really wanted to mention, uh, it has been very uh, um, clarified, explicitly clarified by Sheikh Saifuddin. So that's why, as I said, I had nothing to mention except these small tips. Yeah, 